Introducing Fetchbox. Ways to set up if you can't use Wi-Fi. If you don't have reliable Wi-Fi where your fetch box is located in your home, you'll need to use a wired connection. This is also the way to connect if you have a second generation fetch box. You can use the Ethernet cable you got with your fetch to connect your modem to your fetch box directly, or if your modem and fetch box are too far apart for the Ethernet cable to reach. Use a pair of power line adapters. Connect fetch to your home Wi-Fi. To set up your fetch box with Wi-Fi, connect the TV antenna cable to antenna port on the back of your fetch box. Plug the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the back of your box and plug the other end into an HDMI port on your TV. Plug the fetch power supply into the wall power socket and plug the other end of the cord into the power port on the back of your box. Don't turn on power yet. Turn on your TV using your TV remote and find the correct audiovisual TV input source. You can now turn on the wall power socket to your fetch box. The standby or power light on the front of your box will light up blue. Your TV will then show the preparing system screen to show your fetch box is starting. Your fetch box will next check your internet connection. If already connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable, there is no need to set up Wi-Fi. You'll skip straight to the welcome screen. If the fetch box can't connect, you'll see a message set up your internet connection. To set up Wi-Fi, follow the prompts and use your remote to choose the Wi-Fi connection option. Select your home Wi-Fi network from the list of networks. If needed, confirm the security settings, passwords are case sensitive. Your fetch box will let you know once you're connected and continue to start up. If prompted, enter the activation code for your fetch box in the welcome screen and follow the on-screen prompts to complete your setup. To connect to Wi-Fi through network settings, if you're using an Ethernet cable or power line adapters at the moment to connect your fetch box to your modem, you can switch over to connecting wirelessly to your Wi-Fi network, whenever you like. Press on your remote and go to Manage Greater Than Settings Greater Than Network Greater Than Wi-Fi. Now select your home Wi-Fi network from the list of networks. Enter your Wi-Fi network password. Keep in mind that passwords are case sensitive. Wi-Fi and Internet Error Messages, Low Signal and Connection Warning. If you get this message after connecting to Wi-Fi, see the tips for improving your Wi-Fi. No Internet Connection. If your fetch box has no Internet Connection or you can't connect to Wi-Fi. No Internet Connection. You can use your fetch box for a few days without an internet connection, to watch free-to-air TV or recordings, but after that you'll see a box locked or connection error message and will need to reconnect your box to the internet before you can use your fetch box again. Tips to improve Wi-Fi in your home, location of your modem. Where you place your modem and your fetch box in your home can make a big difference to Wi-Fi signal strength, performance and reliability. Put your modem near to the main areas in which you use the internet or in the middle of your home. If your modem is too far away from your fetch box you may not get the best signal. Don't place your modem next to a window or underground. Household devices like cordless phones and microwaves can interfere with Wi-Fi so make sure your modem or your fetch box aren't near these. Power cycle your modem. Turn your modem, router or access points off then on again. Check your internet speed. Do this check as close as possible to where you're using your fetch box. On a computer or smartphone connected to your Wi-Fi network go to www speed test net and run the test you need at least 3 megabits per second if it's less turn off other devices in your home that are using the internet and run the speed test again if this doesn't help contact your broadband provider about ways to improve your internet speed can't connect to wi-fi power cycle your fetch box and modem if you are having issues sometimes a fetch box restart is all that's needed go to menu greater than manage greater than settings greater than device info greater than options greater than fetch box restart if your menu isn't working try turning the power to the box off for 10 seconds before turning it back on. If that doesn't help, restart your modem or router too by turning them off then on again. Test your Wi-Fi signal strength. Check if your Wi-Fi signal is strong enough to use for your fetch box. You'll need an iOS device to run this test. Download the Airport Utility app from the App Store. Go to Airport Utility and Settings and enable Wi-Fi Scanner. Launch the app and select Wi-Fi Scan, then select Scan. Check that the signal strength, RSSI, is between minus 20 decibels and minus 70 decibels for your Wi-Fi network. Reset your fetch box. You should try a soft reset before a hard reset. It will reinstall your fetch box interface and clear system files, but won't touch your recordings. If a soft reset doesn't fix the issue with your box, you can try a hard reset. This is a more thorough reset. After a reset, you must enter your activation code in the welcome screen and set up your internet connection if your box to do a soft reset of your fetch box, follow these steps. Press on your remote then go to Manage Greater Than Settings Greater Than Device Info Greater Than Options. 
Select Soft Factory Reset. If you can't access the menu, here's how to do a soft reset through your remote. Turn the power to the fetch box off at the wall power source then turn it back on. When the first screen appears preparing system, start pressing the color buttons on your remote control, in order, red more than green greater than yellow greater than blue. Keep pressing these until the light on mini or light on mighty starts flashing or the box restarts. Hard reset. To do a hard reset of your fetch box, follow these steps. Press on your remote then go to manage greater than settings greater than device info greater than options. Select soft factory reset. Turn the power to the fetch box off at the wall power source then turn it back on. When the first screen appears preparing system, start pressing the color buttons on your remote control, in order, blue greater than yellow greater than green greater than red. Keep pressing these until the light on mini or light on mighty starts flashing or the box restarts. Repair the fetch voice remote. To repair the voice remote, point your remote at your fetch box. Press and hold and on the remote, until the light on the remote flashes red and green. You'll see a pairing prompt on screen and a confirmation once the remote is paired. Once paired, the light at the top of the remote will flash green on button press. Reset your fetch box. You should try a soft reset before a hard reset. It will reinstall your fetch box interface and clear system files, but won't touch your recordings. If a soft reset doesn't fix the issue with your box, you can try a hard reset. This is a more thorough reset. However, please be aware this will clear all your recordings and series recordings, messages and downloads on your box. After a reset, you must enter your activation code in the welcome screen, and set up your internet connection if your box doesn't have one. If using a fetch voice remote, after a reset of your box, you must repair your remote to enable voice control. See below for more. For more updates subscribe to our channel.